Okay, Aries, what I'm saying here is somebody, it's like they're panicking because they know you're going to be rich. They know you're going to experience success. But I'm going to leave it here because this, this is going to piss me off. Ain't no way a fire sign is going to go out like this. Ain't no way. These, these two, okay, this Queen of Swords and this King of Cups, they know this. But they can't sustain themselves because they're in some type of karmic low vibrational BS. You, somebody here wants to do like some type of essence transfer. Like they want to transfer your energy over to them so that they get the abundance, the ace of coin. Like somebody was yelling, Raquel. Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome back. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your bonus general read. It is a general read. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read. For my Aries, what messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I heard the name Raquel. I heard it so clearly, like somebody was yelling Raquel. Okay. We have number two, the High Priestess. This is Neptune energy. And this is Pisces. Then we have Pluto, Death and Judgment. Scorpio energy. Then over here we have Aquarius. The star. Healing. A brand new beginning. You found hope. This is Uranus energy. What do we have at the bottom? Nine of Swords. Okay. And the Magician. Y'all, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know. I don't want to say fear. Fear is a strong word. And, like, yes, we need fear, right? Because we are, you know, that's one of our animalistic instincts, right? But we misinterpret fear at times. I feel like, Aries, what's happening here is you are afraid on some level of your own power. Some of you are holding back. You aren't. I don't know. It's this energy. Like y'all can manifest like the riches. With this palace of coins. I don't know if it's like being committed to it. Or if it's like. Fear of your unlimited. Untapped potential. The sun spirit saying yes. Oh wait, but hold on, because the two of cups is going to be at the bottom. So what's this all about? What's this all about? Spirit, queen of swords on the side. Two of pentacles. Okay, I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this two of pentacles falling out. My apologies, y'all. Oh, and the star. Okay. I gotta put those two to the side. This is so strange. I'm gonna count that as on the side. Why are all these cards coming out on the side, Spirit? The Fool. Ace of Cups. Somebody here is super possessive over you. They're like, here, let me move all of this out of the way. Oh, extra Oracle decks here. Let's let's move. There we go. Okay, Aries. What I'm saying here is somebody. It's like they're panicking because they know you're going to be rich. They know you're going to experience success, and it's almost like they want to stop that. The Ace of Pentacles on the side, they want to, oh, they want to transfer 
your abundant energy to themselves. They want to be in the song. I heard ex-wife. So for some of you, this could be your ex-wife. Okay, that's going to be really specific, right? But, right, for the rest of you, somebody here wants to do, like, some type of essence transfer. Like, they want to transfer your energy over to them so that they get the abundance, the ace of coin. Okay. So you've been manifesting. Oh, okay. So you've been manifesting, right? And you could be wondering, like, where is my manifestation? Why, why, is, why is it taking much longer or why are things moving so slow normally my manifestations are here by now okay and you're wondering like where it is and it's being stalled your manifestations are being stalled by somebody ace of pentacles on the side somebody wants to take the ace of coins for themselves and this is somebody that's lingering in your energy the eight of cups on the side the star on the side okay and the two of pentacles on the side this is somebody that's lingering in your energy, they never made a decision about you, okay? This is somebody that never made a decision about you, or this is somebody that just goes to you, just left. And, you know, the fool and the ace of cups, that's somebody that's a fool in love, okay? He, she, they, them, it, whoever that is, that's a fool in love. But the thing is, they want to, it's, it's really giving like some type of energetic transfer that they wish to do. They, they wish to be abundant as well. Why, why is this individual targeting Aries? Can you clarify this? Empress on the side. Y'all could have been soulmates or twin flame with this person. You could be the Empress or this person could be the Empress. Your Empress. I don't believe it. They want to experience abundance without being in a union with you. That That's what it's really giving me. Strength, yeah. This Empress on the side, King of Cups, strength energy. I'm assuming this Empress on the side is them, but you're, you're free to swish it. But like... It's like they're just washing on the side. And they're doing everything and anything they can to like harness your energy. This is not going to work. So who is this Queen of Swords then? Who is this Queen of Swords? The Devil. That's some type of third party energy. There was abundance here that was destined for you and somebody else specifically. Like if the two of you got together, you two were going to be in abundance. But that didn't pan out. But this abundance is being transferred over to you, all of it. But this energy over here that's swift, this devil queen of swords energy, it's like they sense it that you're about to be in riches or they are seeing it that you're living a really good life. And they want to come in and do some type of energy harvesting so that they can have abundance, so that they can be in the riches. I heard the name Tanya. If not, if this individual is already successful, successful because I do feel that for some of you, they are building success off of your energy. That's, that's for a different group of Aries. Because for some of you Aries, this person is already successful. And it's because they have been successfully harnessing your energy and then you're not progressing in your life. That's for a very specific group of Aries here. Okay? For some of you, you have been stagnant in terms of your career, in terms of your finances, and it's because your energy has been harvested by this individual and this individual is giving it to a third party as well. But for others, for a large portion of you, this individual is trying to harness energy because they are not in abundance they are struggling or they are facing challenges when it comes to the energies. Temperance. Yeah, this is definitely some type of divine love with the Palace of Cups there. Some type of divine contract was there, but I feel that that has been postponed. 
Ace of Swords. Oh, the Eight of Swords, yeah. They're trying to harvest energy. You see how she's trapped in the bubble? That's what they're trying to do to you. They're trying to trap you in this bubble and then basically have you be like this reactor that's, that's you know, giving them energy. And you're trapped in this bubble and they can always come in and pull from your energy because you're trapped, you're stuck, you've been hexed or something of that nature. Or this is the plan that they have for you. Ace of Wands, Spirit saying yes. Spirit saying yes. The attempt here is to transfer your abundant energy over to them so that they can be in the Ace of Swords. Look at this Ace of Swords. Look at how this individual is taking off into the sky. Okay, that's what this individual wants. The Ace of Swords with the Sun. The Sun, regeneration, abundance. You know, life doesn't get much better than being in the Sun. Okay, that Leo energy. Okay, the prime source, right? But then you also have the Ace of Wands, which is new inspiration, new ideas, new creativity, new passion, new life, adventures, travel even. This is what this energy wants. And they're looking to take it from y'all. Yep, they want to be in the King of Pentacles. Okay, he, she, they, them, whoever this is, they want to be in the King of Pentacles. That's what's going on here. They're trying to transfer over your energy to them. Nine of Wands, I'm telling you. And I, I don't know, whoever this is, it looks like they're going to be victorious over you. Because the Nine of Wands does represent a victory. So why is this Nine of Wands falling over this King of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Wands going to fall over the King of Pentacles? Death and the Six of Wands. Look at this. I know. Okay, I'm. Uh, you see, I I have to keep it calm because I don't want my blood pressure to rise. But I know y'all are not about to let somebody set up an exit for you so that they can be victorious and have the riches. Six of Wands and Death. They're going to be victorious at the rate they're going over you. What is this King of Wands? This is you. Clarify this King of Wands. Ten of Cups on the side. The Lovers. And the Four of Swords. Look, this individual may even try to come in to have a hookup with you. This is energy harvesting, y'all. This is energy harvesting. And if you hook up with them, I mean, you might as well, you know, you might as well consider yourself on the losing side. Clarify, spirit. Page of Wands. You, you, you see, you're going to go from a King of Wands to a Page of Wands. And this individual is going to run away with your energy, leaving you in the Five of Pentacles. And they're going to boss up to this King of Swords off of y'all's energy. So that they can have the world and the Four of Wands so that they can open new doors and not be in this Page of Pentacles. Not be in this Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Oh, I got to be careful with some of these cards. Three of Wands, right? They're going to be traveling, celebrating, having options in life, building wealth. It is very important that you do not engage with this energy in any way because they have somebody. And they only want to come in now to harvest energy. Knight of Pentacles. Even now they are strategizing their victory. How they are going to close the gap between the two of you. And overcome you. And they're going to overcome you through sexual fulfillment. The Nine of Cups. This is their plan. This is their grand plan. Because the energy, you see, you, you cut off the energy. That's what happened. You cut off the energy. They weren't able to tap into your energy for a long time. And now they're 
they're piercing through. Maybe it's been a long time, maybe six months or a year or several years, and you would think this person isn't tapping into my energy anymore and life is good, but things have gotten a little slow, but life is still good because that individual is long gone. But the energy here doesn't lie. This individual is very much in your energy, trying to pierce through your energy field, and they're trying to harness this energy. And I know I keep saying energy, but the lesson here is energy. Your energy is the prime currency above all else. Without your energy, you can't do nothing. You cannot manifest. You cannot bring in the abundance. You cannot bring in the opportunities. You cannot go out there and make it happen. These, these two, okay, this Queen of Swords and this King of Cups, they know this. But they can't sustain themselves because they're in some type of karmic low vibrational BS. They can't sustain themselves. You know, when the, your vibration is low, you, you just can't, you know, your energy is bit practically gone. So what do they do? They need to go elsewhere to gather energy. So this energy, this individual, their plan is to, you know, be a succubi, an incubi, and come in and lure you in with ideas of grand delusions Okay, we're just going to call it how it is. This is a delusion. This is an illusion. And it seems to me like some of you are going to fall into temptation because this shows this individual being victorious. And this is just going to piss me the F off because you're a fellow fire sign. And us fire signs aren't going to put up with none of this. So what's going on here, Aries? Some of you are letting this energy win over you, prevail over you. And you have more spiritual divine power and ranking than they do clarify spirit because i'm really getting like y'all gonna let the world and the eight of swords i'm telling you and the seven of swords y'all gonna let this you know whoever this is and their karmic devil queen of swords girlfriend boyfriend y'all gonna let these weirdos prepare an exit for y'all a no way. A no way an Aries is gonna allow this. Y'all better fight back. Y'all better fight back. Y'all better you y'all better bring the heat, okay? You're a fire sign. Y'all better, you know, psh, you know, put that heat on there. Seven of Pentacles. With the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So that they can have an ultimate victory. So that they can be in the wheel with the world. And you be stuck in the Eight of Swords. Hell to the no. Absolutely not. Y'all better yup. So that they can get the Four of Pentacles. Your, 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 your energy is literally money. And they have you, they're going to have you trapped in this Eight of Swords. And then they're going to just, you know, they're going to pick it. Pick, your, pick off your energy. And it's going to bring them the Seven of Cups and everything. Cars, homes, job offers. Yep, Six of Wands, I'm telling you. And the Ace of Wands, Spirit saying yes. And this is not going to be a thing where they're just going to forget. You know, they're going to forget once, you know, you're, you're done. Because eventually this is going to manifest itself into illness. People harvesting our energy. So yeah, it is going to be over. You know, when you are basically bedridden and finished off. So it's high time. Somebody here needs to hear this. It's high time to fight back, to call on all of your angels, your ancestors, to utterly annihilate and destroy these individuals or any individual that is trying to harness your energy. Because you have more spiritual ranking. Your angels, your ancestors, they are waiting. You only need to give them the authority and they will do it. And you will not receive bad karma for this. Because what other choice do you have? If you do not fight back, you will, at some point in the future, end up bedridden in some way, shape, or form. Whether that be through illness or a mental break. Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands do not, under any circumstances, sleep with this individual. Yep, two of cups, I'm telling you. It's it's all because the five of pentacles, it's all about your energy. So that they don't be in the five of pentacles and the fool. 
so that they no longer have blocks, so that they can finally have abundance. And Spirit is saying that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. And Spirit is also saying yes with that Eight of Wands. I wouldn't be surprised if this karmic Queen of Swords, he, she, they, them, whoever they are, is literally telling this person, go over there to Aries and, you know, get it in with them and then come back here. You know, we'll be good. I wouldn't be surprised. Queen of Swords with the Devil, that seems to be somebody that's spiritual. But I'm going to leave it here because this, this is going to piss me off. Ain't no way a fire sign is going to go out like this. Ain't no way. I know some of you already called and this is just confirmation, but there are some of you, you're, you're over here. I, I don't know. Like, like it's this energy of thinking like this is going to go away and you know, we're all going to be able to just move on with our lives. That's not how it's going to go out. So that is the read. That's what I have for y'all. And I wish you love and light. Take care.